I have configured the New York strip to use the multi-column modifiers, so the first step is to add a New York strip to this order. Now the multi-column modifier selection window is displayed. For this example, I'm using four modifier screens which are represented by the four available columns. In previous versions of Restaurant Manager, each column would have been a separate pop-up window displayed in order one at a time. Using the multi-column approach, we are able to select the desired modifiers in any order from any screen. First, I'm going to go ahead and select Medium as the prep instructions. Now I can either go in order through the columns or jump around. For example, I can move over to the choice of potato and select the baked potato and then jump back to the would you like to add column. If enabled, the available modifiers also support simple adjectives which are displayed across the bottom of the screen. If I select add, then fried onions, add fried onions will be added to this steak. Depending on the maximum count set in menu setup, you can also select more than one choice. For example, if I press fried mushrooms, both add fried onions and mushrooms will be added to this steak. The multi-column modifier layout also supports nested modifiers. To demonstrate this, I'm going to select salad as my choice. Since the salad also comes with a choice of dressing, a pop-up screen will be displayed allowing me to select the desired option, for this example ranch. The completed New York strip is shown in the leftmost column with all of our selected options. If you made an error while ordering, making a change is very easy. Let's say that the steak was supposed to be medium rare instead of medium. You can simply press medium rare to change your selection. This change is then reflected in the left hand column. Once you are finished selecting all the desired options, press the OK button to close the multi-column modifier pop-up screen. Now we can see this item has been added to the order.